Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video, we discussed in detail on installation of Airflow on an EC2 machine. So there are several commands or cell scripts we need to execute to install Airflow. Now if you want to automate that particular process, we can take the help of user data script to install Airflow. So in that user data script, we can put all these installation commands, whether that is some Python module installation or some sudo app to install any commands we can keep in user data script. And while launching the EC2, that time we can provide that script. So that way, Airflow will be installed with all other necessary dependent Python modules and the environment will be ready for our usage. Okay. So that manual installation process, how to automate that using user data script that I am going to discuss today in this particular video. If you use user data script, then in that case, if you want to do some POC with Airflow by launching it in EC2 machine, it will be ultra fast and within 2-3 minutes itself, your environment will be ready. You no need to execute the commands one by one. Okay. So here is the script. It is same like what we discussed in our previous video. Just we executed line by line. Now using user script, we will execute this. So as a first step, what I am doing here. I am mentioning that whatever execution will happen that logs I'll be moving in this particular file and once this particular user script will exit that time that particular log data I want to copy into S3 location okay it is same like in our previous video when we discussed user data script concept that time also use this particular trap feature that same one we are using here okay so here we have kept all the installation there is nothing new already I have discussed this multiple times this command I'll be providing in the description box so that you can also play with it. Now all we need to do, we need to basically create one S3 bucket where the logs of this user data script will be stored. So here I can go to S3 and then here I can give the bucket name as demo yt user data airflow. This name I have given. So here I can create the bucket and let's go to that particular bucket. So here maybe I can create two folders, one for storing all the logs and another one we can keep to store all the tags. Okay, so in Airflow, we run different tags or Python code, right? We schedule. So that tag scripts we can keep in another folder. So from this particular S3 folder in that EC2 when Airflow will be launched in the tag directory, the Python codes will be copied so that in the scheduler web UI console, we can observe those python ports okay so here i can give the name of the folder as tags and here i can first copy the logs directory url and then here i can paste it that i want to make sure that whatever logs will be generated by this user data script once it exit it will copy all those logs in this s3 directory that is one point and another point is if you scroll below here you can see that we are keeping our tag directory in this location home ubuntu tags so what I want to do that from that AWS S3 tag folder, I want to copy all the tags in this particular directory. Okay, so that I will do. So for that, I need some tags first. So here I have written a very simple tag. Let me show you. It is just a hello world tag. If you see here that we have created the tag with ID hello world. And here basically we have written a very simple Python function. Hello world second example. And then here using Python operator, we are executing this particular Python function. Okay, as simple as that. So this is basically one DAG code. So this DAG code, I will keep in my DAGs directory. So I will open DAGs directory in a new tab. And then here this particular hello world.py, this DAG is available in desktop. So I will just upload it. Hello world.py and here it is uploaded okay right so now what i will do when the code will run the user script will run that time at a particular step i need to copy all these tags in our ec2 file system right so that one i will update here so this is the line where you need to update that is basically from which s3 folder your tags will be copied to one particular ec2 location where your tags directory is sitting okay right so that part also you need to change in this script and rest part you can keep as it is so with this our user script is ready hello world.py is anyway already uploaded now we are ready to launch our ec2 instance okay so whenever we launch airflow that time we need to create one user id and password so here if you see at line number 33 we are doing that airflow user create username we are keeping airflow 
and the password we are keeping admin at the rate one two three exclamatory mark okay so we'll use this to log in in our airflow console so that is fine we can do that later so as of now what i will do i will launch one ec2 machine with this user script so here ec2 is open and instance i will go to running instance currently no running instance is there i will launch instance so here i can give the name as airflow demo yt okay and i can choose ubuntu machine so because we need postgres database for airflow so i will basically take t2 small instead of t2 micro so that it will not have any space issue so i will change t2 micro to t2 small and then here key pair for entering in this particular ec2 machine once user script execution is completed that time to enter using putt we need a key pair right so here airflow user data one existing key pair i am choosing the networking setting i am keeping as it is as of now in advanced setting i need to choose the im role properly because from ec2 to ec2 the data has to be copied right the tags has to be copied that's why we are executing aws stcp command not only here if you see in this particular step also the logs are getting copied from ec2 to s3 so the ec2 should have s3 access so for that i will choose a im role properly so emr ec2 default role this is having s3 access for ec2 so i will choose this one okay and then keeping all other properties unchanged and then here i will scroll below and here user data so i will upload my user data my user data is sitting in desktop airflow install.sh so i will just choose that so here airflow install.sh if i just upload that particular file here it is giving us the preview of that file so this is pretty much it and now we can launch the instance so here it will take some time to make the environment ready after doing all this python module installation and postgre installation creating database and all these things so we need to wait for that and how we can understand that the user script execution is complete so that is very simple basically here once this script exit then the logs getting copied from our ec2 system to this particular logs directory right so here we are having our logs directory in this particular bucket so here we are having our logs directory currently it is empty so once we will have some logs here that time we can understand that the airflow installation is done or if there is some error that also we can monitor okay so to open airflow ui we need to change the security so by that time i'll do this one so here this is our security group so here i will edit the inbound rule to access from internet i will allow all traffic as of now with ipv4 access okay so that is done and now it is in running state we need to wait for some time so here if you go through this particular cell script nothing rocket science is there same thing what i executed in my previous video line by line that same thing is available here as a single bash script okay so this is basically automating the airflow installation process so let's wait for a couple of minutes i will skip this particular part and once the logs files will be generated that time i will show you again so here you can see the status is now running only now let's go to the logs location and here you can see that just now the logs got dumped here current time is 6 8 pm and at 6 7 the logs got dumped that means either installation is successful or maybe some issue occurred that is also possible so we can download this particular logs and we can check that is there any issue is there or not so here let me open this particular logs file so let's scroll complete below so here it is showing initialization done so that means we can assume that there is not such error you can go through the complete logs to explore in more detail so now let's go to ec2 and let's launch our airflow and we will observe that how easily the airflow can be launched so i'll open putt i'll paste this host name i will browse the ppk file and here i'll open this and here i will log in as ubuntu so here it is logged in and i will change this setting to 10 second instead of 1 and apply it okay now here all these installations are done right so all these python modules when we installed in our previous video also that time we installed in a virtual environment 
and that virtual environment name is VNV. So when we have ran our user script, then it made the environment ready. All we need to do, we need to go to this particular virtual environment and then here I can execute Airflow DB in it once, although it is not necessary and I can directly start my Airflow server. And if everything goes correctly, then Airflow web server will start. And I will open the same session in a new window. And what I will do here, I will start our scheduler. And here I will execute Airflow scheduler. So here you can see, it also started running. So now let's see whether we can log in in our Airflow console or not. I will copy EC2's public IP and then port is by default it runs in 8080 port. So here once we hit this particular URL, here it is bringing username password console. So when we launched the Airflow using this particular user data script, we have created with username Airflow and password this. So I will try to log in using this username I will put here and password I will copy this and I will try to sign in so if I try to sign in what should happen so this is one DAC what we uploaded in our DAX folder and here we have copied from S3 to our EC2 machines DAX directly so ideally this hello world.py DAX would be visible in our Airflow console so here you can see hello world DAX is visible so I can run it now so here I can go to graph view and here you can see hello world DAG is there. So let me just run it by triggering the DAG. And here if I refresh, see it ran successfully because it is just printing something. So it is a very quick operation. You can check the logs also. So here you can see that hello world second example. Okay. So this is what we printed, right? So this is how using user script in a very simple manner, you can launch Airflow in an EC2 machine. Once the user script execution is complete, all we have to do is start the web server and start the CD. That's it. Okay. And you can keep as many DAX code in that particular S3 location. All it will do, it will copy those particular Python files to this EC2 machine's DAX directory. Okay. Using this particular code. Right. And that way all DAX code will be available in our Airflow UI and you can run it using or schedule it based on your requirement, right? I hope you understood this. So this way using user script, we have seen that how easily we can install or update some packages or modules, etc. in EC2. So try to play with it, have fun. And if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. I will try to reply back ASAP. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.